So, pay respect to my boss as a, yeah, his former minister and also as a father of the nation. I also I came to inform me that, uh, yes, the elections are over. And after all the Hulu Balu, I was elected a senator of the Federal Republic. So I'm now a senator elect and I've also shown him my certificate. And for me, this was very significant because when I joined, him in 2018, I also decided to go back to the Senate, to the upper chambers, but of course, uh, it wasn't the will of Almighty God, so I ended up as a minister, for which I'm deeply grateful, and I remain indebted to him. So I thanked him for the appointment, I thanked him for the opportunity to serve Nigeria in that capacity, and also to let him know that we'll continue to pray for him, so that God will continue to sustain him, as we move forward, and as the transition from him to the incoming president of Bola Ahmed Chinubu, that God will continue to give Nigeria peace, and through them, that progress will remain our portion in the country. I told him that, uh, yes, indeed, that I intend to uh, vie for the office of the Senate President of the 10th uh, Assembly, of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And, uh, and he was happy to hear that. Akwabio uh, is uh, known uh, as an uncommon transformer. Akwabio uh, is uh, known as a man who is result-oriented. Uh, I recall that when I was the governor, I brought so many innovations to bear infrastructurally, educationally, socially, and otherwise, and also in terms of human empowerment. So I intend to bring a lot of reforms into the Senate in the ways and manner we do business to assist the next administration to succeed. Uh, we will be very thorough in doing everything. We will bring about loyalty to the Constitution. We will bring about loyalty uh, to Nigerians. We will tackle issues through legislation to empower Nigerians, and particularly the youths, the restiveness that we are seeing across the nation will do our best to make good laws and to assist the administration to bring about policies that will empower the youths of the country. I, I made that promise even on the convention day that being a man who, who, who used to turn boys into men and who still do, that I'll be glad to work with the incoming president who has also shown that example in Lagos that when he was a governor and thereafter as a leader of the APC in Nigeria. He has continued to turn boys into men. And as president of the country, after his swearing in, I expect that he will continue to do so. So the youths are in for a very good time in terms of empowerment. There will be no time for slacking. And then we will restrict a lot of them from being lured into criminality, into brigandage and all that. So we will get them working. And I believe strongly, with the help of God Almighty, that both the National Assembly and the Executive will do a lot for the youths of this country. <laughs> 